come back from? Disneyland. Disneyland. And as you can see, we did a massive haul. Yeah. So, I was clever this and time. We got this card. Yeah, Chloe celebrating Christmas, obviously, already. Um, my Christmas postcard. Yes. <laughs> right, I'm going to tell them all about this event now, okay? Okay. Yeah, sit down then. So I was clever this time and I kept all the receipts so I can actually tell you and I've sat down and worked out. I spent roughly 400 euros but at least you'd be able to know because I watched hundreds of haul videos before I went. If you see the list I actually read of what I would like to buy you would see why I probably spent 400. Um, so I watched so many hauls and I worked out what I wanted to buy and how much money roughly I wanted to take and I knew I wanted to take 500 euros and I was hoping that was enough. Um, just a thing to think of before you go, there were a couple of bits I wanted, like the mini Disney animators. They were 130 euros in the park, I think, I believe. But they're only 80 pound online, Disney Store with free delivery in the UK. And the same with the big animated dolls, which the girls have quite a few of. I was going to bring some back because they get one for every Christmas and birthday. They were 35 euros each in the parks and online. Some of them were reduced to 10, most of them are 15. With you know, you could get your delivery. So even if you were paying for delivery, it would still work out cheaper. So it's definitely something to think about before you decide whether you're going to buy it or not. Yeah, that's okay. Now we go sit down. So shall we get started and show what we got? Yeah. Okay. What have we got? So first. We've been desperate to open our stuff and use it, but we've been calling, so I had to film this first before we were allowed to get anything out. So first of all, we got the oven glove set. It was twelve ninety nine. I think we got it from. Are the... these yours? Yes. <laughs> it was twelve euros ninety nine, and I believe we got it from the photo wow. shop down Main Street. Mm -hmm. Can you sit down, please? Good girl. So it comes with a tea cosy thing, like to pick your tea up. I think I'm going to use it to lay saucepans on because I don't have an old fashioned tea kettle well I do for when I'm camping so maybe for when I'm camping but um and the most cutest oven glove I was a kind of wanted something that wasn't white but I needed new oven gloves and I really wanted Disney so this was all they had so I got it so my friend needed a love cat bowl to match her set so this is the cat bowl we got for Auntie Nick for Auntie cat for Auntie Nick that's right for it's got, Auntie Nick cat that's right so it's got all the different Disney cats on, and that was seven euros ninety nine. We, got we have a we have a dog hey, version mommy. upstairs for our dog. Hey, yeah, yeah, you have to shush. Hey, yes, there's a Christmas tree in the picture. Shh, sit down. So this came from the Emporium store on Main Street. Obviously, they had a lot of dog stuff. We really wanted a dog collar <laughs> for him, um, but they didn't have any. They only had like. Mini mouse squeaky bow things and they were quite expensive considering he'd probably break them within 24 hours. So the next gift was a little gift for our friend and these were 50% off, they're just 2016 bookmarks. Um, they originally were two years yeah. 50 but with the 50% yeah. at least off I only paid a euro for it which was pretty awesome. It's just a little, little cute bookmark, I thought it would make a nice little extra because obviously we've got something for a cat, what's up for her as well. So, also 50% off, which was cool. Kylie Collects Snow Globes has a collection, so we got her the Disneyland Hi. Paris Snow Globe, and it was $5.99, so we paid $1.99, €1.99 for it with its discount. And these, all the reduced 50% off bits, well, they were everywhere, but the majority of them were right at the shop as you exit the park on the right in the Disneyland Park. Definitely worth going in there. Apparently their sale is September, but they still had quite a bit of stock left when we went in. So these were originally three euros ninety nine, and we paid two euros ninety nine for them. So I guess fifty percent is roughly fifty percent. Um, but yeah, I thought they make great tea bag trays. They're great for your keys, all that kind of thing, and they just have the nice two thousand sixteen logo, and they're really cute. Ryan always complains when we put a tea bag so I live from my bullet journal. I absolutely love it. But it only comes with two bits of white thread, whatever they're called, to mark the pages. So I found these and I love them so much. 
They are yeah, Disney did, and Mama. Paris page markers. These are the Disney yes. ones. And these they are the are Paris mommy. ones. Mickey, Minnie and Love. And they are so cute. Yeah. They were three euros ninety nine, and I'm desperate to open these and use them for my book right now. So I'm going to put them under my book so that I can use them. Um, and they were in quite a few places. I think I found one set in the shop near Ratatouille. Um, and I think I found another set in Main Street or somewhere. Most of them were near the cabinet. Oh no, they were in the. They're in the world of Disney shop. Miss Morton, I'm making mini tops today. Um, so yeah, they're in the world of Disney shop, but, but they were always near the counter rather than anywhere around the shop. So Kylie decided she would like some sweeties. Now this was full of jelly beans. Yeah. Um, and it's full of clappy hands. So, as you can see, three bits. But it also lights up. We've had it on quite a lot, so the battery's still going. This was eight euros ninety nine mini mouse pad. And nowadays it's still full of Smarties, so she got the Smarties one. And it's got the little buttons on the back, yeah. so you can move mini bags. And that was ten euros. Yeah. I really want the placemat. So the first year we went, we got Kyrie a placemat. Um, Nabonay was about six weeks old at the time, so we said we'd get them next time we go for Nan. Um, so the second time we got Nabonay one, but we'd moved house. So Kari's had gone missing. So we decided that I would decide I'd get us all. And I really want the Christmas one though. Christmas placemat is beautiful, but the placemats are about nine euros ninety nine each. So I found the twelve euros ninety nine in the Ratatouille mine. A well, the shop there there. A set of four, and they're spam. I don't know if you can see all the different. But that's perfect for our family, and I absolutely love the Remy one, that's really mine. But um, I'm not too keen on Alice in Wonderland, but I just thought it was really cute to have a set of four mats. So that we'd all have one each. So sticking with our 50% off, when I went into the shop there, Ratatouille, do not eat that chocolate off the floor. The girls now eat their smarties. I found these so cute backpacks. And they're probably lamp house ones with the characters on. So one of them got blue and the other one got pink so that they could have different and They've got this lamp house logo on the pockets, on the sides, and they're just really spacious. They've got a lot, like the front zips, they've got loads of different pockets on them. And they go really small, which is great for little ones. And they were reduced down to €9.99 each, which I thought for a backpack was amazing, especially considering it came from Disneyland Paris. So I searched everywhere for these. And I only found no, them. Mommy, it's the castle. It is the castle. I only found them in the Pirates of the Caribbean shop as you came off. Um, I think my mum might have spotted them, I'm not sure, but I really wanted these before I went. They are €29.99. And I'll show you the back because it shows you better. But they are in 12 different posters. And these are the posters you see as you go under the train station on the way in. And they're supposed to look like movie posters, but they're presenting the ride. So there's Peter Pan's Flight, there's the castle, Pirates of the Caribbean, Adventure Islands, Phantom Banner, Orbitron, all that kind of thing. And I think these are absolutely beautiful. I really want them. And my idea originally, I'm not sure at the moment, was to put them down my hallway as I enter, one each side, so it would be like entering past them. And at the bottom to have a nice picture of my girls in front of the castle. So depends what Ryan thinks of that, obviously. But... I just think they're really nice. I haven't opened them because I don't want to open them until I know what I want to do with them. But you can see them obviously on the back. And they're gorgeous. Look at the small mouth one. The yeah. happiest cruise that ever sailed around the, the world. The castle's big now. The castle's big on this one, yes. So another thing that I wanted before I went, I'd seen... Um, I on wanted a, that on one. A, you did, did you? On a lot of the Disney groups was this... Um, colour in poster. Now it's 1.15 metres, please don't mind that, by 0 0.80 metres. So it's massive and it has all the rides in the castle. And it's basically a park trap that you colour in. It was €12.99 and it took me a while to find. I think I found it in one of the shops near the exit of Disneyland Park. But it's, I just know it's going to look beautiful. It's not exactly the same as the park, it's slightly different. 
it's just going to be so nice. I think it's got, yeah, it's so this half's like studios, this half's the Disneyland Park, and they've got the train in between it and the Disneyland Hotel that says Disneyland Power. So I cannot wait to colour this in and see what it looks like. I'm also quite worried about colouring it in. But yeah, to be used on the floor, on the wall, or as a tablecloth, play alone with friends, this product stimulates imagination and creativity. So I cannot wait to get this out of time. It's not going to be used with friends, it is going to be just me, and I am going to get my nice colour that it's going to be really nice. When I went last year, I bought a couple of sets of glasses. I bought a set of these, which are a set four, and they are €12.99. Um, I really love these glasses. I gave two to my mum, I believe, so I ended up with two, and I kept two. Um, they are three euros ninety nine each if you want to buy them separately, but they're obviously cheaper if you buy them in a pack of four and they come packaged nicely. So this year I got another set of four, so I've now got six because I was so worried about my breaking and I wanted a set of four glasses, which was nice. Um and then I bought two of these glasses, which are lovely with the Mickey body parts. They're so nice. And they are three euros fifty each. So I gave one of these to mum last year and I kept one myself. So this year I bought another three so that I have a set of four. I kind of wish I bought four because I don't want them to break. Because these are my absolute favourite glasses. So yeah, I thought I would get my glass set so they could go back in the cupboard because I was really worried about getting them out. I was worried about drinking with them, but they are beautiful. If you've been to this lab house before, you will know that every single time you go in the shop, there is a blanket offer. So one of the shops, thank you, sweetie, there, the castle, was a, the princess kind of shop, was a princess blanket. I think, depending on how much you spent, for 15 euros, you could get a princess blanket. They are, the blankets are roughly 30 euros each. So my girls didn't have a blanket each. Myself and my husband have our blankets. So myself and my husband have blankets from the previous year. My husband has this blanket from the beginning of this year, which is the one my girls have just got. So it says Disneyland Paris on it. And it's Saucer and Mickey. The deal, they are €9.99 when you spend so much. I think you have to spend €20, Euros, which is pretty easy in any shop. So the girls now have one of their own each. And this was the one from the year before that I got. It's got all the signatures on it. And I absolutely love it. And I think the year before my mum got it. And it was the castle. Um, with all like sparkly lights which is beautiful. So I want next year's banker obviously. So me and Kyrie last year in March as you saw. Got our pillow pets. Yeah. I've got Pluto. So it's a pillow. And I got a lady. Yeah and Kyrie got her lady pillow. So it was only fair that when Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse left their presents, because they do it on the first night every trip, yeah. don't they? Yeah. What did they leave you this year? What did you get? Uh, Kappa! She got her blanket. So Namine was oh. left a oh. Minnie Mouse pillow pet. Yes! So Namine's got one. Yes! She's currently playing with the bottom out. Um, so it wasn't fair to then leave Daddy out, so we bought Daddy a Stitch Pillow Pet! Yes! So Pillow Pets are everywhere. There was Rex, there's Minnie, Mickey, Pluto, I think there's Cheshire it Cat, Stitch. There are absolutely loads of them. They are €29.99, which is probably quite expensive yeah. really, but I love them. They're really comfortable. So I needed some new ears, well I didn't because I had my Millie Mouse ears, but I wanted the Christmas ears because I was so excited. Oh my goodness, when we saw that tree it was amazing. €16.99 for these beautiful ones. I don't know if you can see them, I don't want to take them off the head, but here is a bit of mistletoe. And they've got the glittery red bow and glittery red ears. And once you're warm about a day they get more comfy. They Obviously all ears are quite hurt the back of your thing just keep moving them backwards and forwards throughout the day i find that's the most comfortable way to go also found it was only in one shop um at the moment that i'm sure they'll spread it around it's the christmas lanyard so i normally have my normal lanyard but i really wanted the christmas one great thing about them is they have this they are velcro so this quick safety release as well but you can have your keys on and off them so when i'm in the park look it's got a little merry christmas thing when I'm in the park, I had it to carry everything around. So my photo pass tag, like the little card is in here, park tickets, 
my hotel easy pass yeah. and then my green priority card for the rides so they were all in here all to hand which is really great i borrowed this card plus it bit off my mum because i broke mine last year and the lanyard was nine euros 99 so i wanted my own new plastic one they do do nightmare before christmas star wars that kind of thing but i just wanted the disneyland one so here's the Disneyland Paris, and Yay. it has a nice zip in it, right? I've got one of these as well, and a clip so I can attach it to my lanyard, and it's €5.99. I did find this a bit of a pain to find this time. It's kind of everywhere last time, the lanyard pouches, but not this time. But we did find it, it was in Frontierland, if I remember correctly, in one of the tiny little shops. I think it was a shop that sells, like, the weird animal kind of things, which don't really seem related to Disney at all, but... You know, they're animal prints. So I love little purses and I wanted a new purse. Sit down, please, Dan. So I found this purse, Disneyland Paris, and it's got a cute little Mickey doll. It's perfect size for me. It fits my bank cards in it for just a few coins, which is all I needed to do. Five euros ninety-nine. And these were in the World Disney store, I believe. And they were kind of they were actually scattered in quite a few shops around the park. But they have a few different colours. I think they had a red spotted one, which I liked as well, but Kyrie suggested I got this one. And I also wanted a key ring. I put it on my purse this year because it broke when it was on my keys last year. Um, it's the same one I got last year, €6.99, and it's just... Just the castle. It has the word Disney inside it. Uh, it's just really cute details. Um, so it's just... I don't know, it's just really pretty. I really liked it last year, so I'm glad I got it again. While we were there, we spoke to a guy at Tara Terra, and oh my goodness, this cast member was amazing. So the guy was amazing. We were going to go um, write a compliment in about him, but we couldn't quite work out how to spell his name, so we needed to make sure we knew how to spell his name before. So we read Tara Terra again, just to make sure we could get his name. Um, hadn't told him, we got a, like, got a sneak picture kind of thing of his name tag. Um, and he was talking to us and talking to he has been talking to me last trip round about how I like my pins on my lanyard and how cute our little girls were. Mine and my sister's three year olds were riding Tower of Terror for the first time. They were literally just on 102 centimetres, so, which was awesome. And um, how brave they were. And my daughter was riding it for a second time within about half an hour. And he decided to give us a bit of pixie dust, which was so cute. Oh, we were like so excited. Thanks. So he gave us a little voucher. Um, there was like a few things he could have ticked on it, but he ticked for four pins, which meant we all got a pin each, which was awesome. So Kyrie loves Marie, as you will see in a minute. So she got this Marie pin for free. It should have been €16.99, and she really loves this pin. It's so cute. So we're going to put it on her first lanyard, so she'll have her first one. And I wanted something like the castle that said 2016 or something like that, but I really couldn't find the one I'd seen in March anywhere. So I decided to go for the briefcase, and it has all the parks on it. So it has Shanghai, Orlando, Paris, Hong Kong, Tokyo, and Anaheim. And you open it up. It's got a picture of Mickey, and it says Mickey all around the world. And I just think that's so sweet. So this is yellow, and I have no idea how much the yellow would have been. I did write it down, actually. So a yellow would have been €9.99, so I think a green was like €7.99. I did also trade two pins while I was there. So I got the boat for my transport collection, and I also got the lanyard too. So the last two we got were this Marie Teddy, which wherever Kylie says it sounds like she says I need a wee. Um, Marie was €29.99. We just thought she was a plain Marie. There was one with a massive fluffy tail. By massive I mean if I held it up it would be as long, as tall as Kyrie. Uh, but this one's really cute. That is so sweet. So it just plays like a lullaby and I can't off the top of my head remember which lullaby it is but it is one I recognise so she's really really sweet you can turn her off as well make sure you do turn her off because her back is all right um, and of course Nam needed a teddy as well and they love their little cats for some reason 
So we got Nan Figaro and Figaro was €24.99. Figaro doesn't do anything, but it was cute. They didn't have like the matching Figaro one. So the one thing I forgot to show you was the Remy Bauble. It was €12.99. I really wanted this last time I went and Mum got it, which was a year and a half ago. And then I didn't buy it half a year ago, so I'm glad I got it now. And it's so cute. Look at them sharing their grape. So thanks for watching. <laughs> so yeah, 12 euros 99 and that was from possibly the shop in the castle I think. I also got this beautiful Christmas mug with all the characters on for 12 euros 99. It's beautiful. And some Joy X Noel inside. Uh, yeah, it's got a beautiful tree and the main street and all the characters and it's just gorgeous. The only other thing I have to show you was before I left I got the check book which was actually really cool while I was out there. It's just like I filled in some of the pages. I'm not going to be able to find one that I've actually filled in properly now. Am I? So like this, it has you check off all the attractions you've done. Um, yeah, they're just front the floor there. It has the meet and greets in it. There's some really nice pictures. There's some fun and games to do, like while you're waiting in the queue, or maybe you just want to look around the park. So like find a sign that says Lost Parent, or celebrate a special occasion, go get a badge from the City Hall. All the different things you can do. And then right at the back, which I thought came in awesome, there were just a couple more bits. There were some more fun and games, obviously. It's fun and games for different parts of the park, which was cool. Um, the must try treats and I did actually try the marshmallows I did try them so I can take them off now I haven't tried the other stuff I think I might have tried the Nutella brioche actually which was really good um, so I've got some more to try for next trip we have to go back um, but I like this as extra discoveries you can write your own stuff in so I put in the hours like I put in one for each day and what restaurant I was going to, what type was booked for, if we were seeing something extra like Dreams at 7 or the Parade at 5.30 or the Bonfire which was on fireworks at the time, Catch Breakfast, that kind of thing. Also the park hours for each park and the extra magic hours and then any train on Eurostar times and then our insurance um, details as well. So there are quite a few pages to add your extra stuff, I didn't need to. And at the back we had autographs so I got Maleficent. We have, didn't because we met her, didn't we? Yeah. And my sister got Jack Skellington, which was awesome. So, this book, I think it was about, I want to say about £15. I don't even know if it was that much, but it was between about £10 and £15, I reckon. It came within a week, which was great because I ordered it after my birthday and we were going just over a week later. But it... It was great. We're not a first timer. I think it would be really good for first timers, but you could do it for like one trip. You could do it for more than one trip. Like there's stuff in here that I haven't ever done or thought about. And you know, after 15, 16 trips, you'd think you'd have done it all. But that Disney just changes all the time, so it was a really, really good book to have. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.